Jermaine Siopo-Senwe will likely be the only two players to make their second appearance at a FIFA Women's World Cup. In 2010, they were part of the under-17 team that competed at the Trinidad and Tobago edition. They relived that experience after Banyana Banyana's qualification for the 2019 World Cup to be held in France. Qualifying Banyana Banyana for the global spectacle for the first time brought back memories of 2010 when they had done the same with the under-17 team Bandwana. Then they were much younger and perhaps missed the significance of their achievement. Suarte and Soposino were key players for Banyana Banyana during the recent Africa Women's Cup of Nations, which doubled up as a World Cup qualifier. We've come a long way. Jermaine and I, you know, coming, going from under 17 and going under 20 and now the senior team, I think we've um, come a long way. Um, yeah, I think when, once we get to France, I think we would definitely be excited about it. Um, it was an experience of a lifetime back in 2010 and, you know, eight years later or nine years later, if we got, when we got to France next year, I think um, it will sink in again. Um, but yeah, I think it was a milestone and it was a great achievement when we were back in 2010. We were still young and, you know, immature and innocent. <laughs> but now, yeah, we've grown and we've so matured in our play now. And I think we've grown so much in confidence and our mentality is way different than what we had back then. They will form part of an elite group that has featured at two World Cups for South Africa. It's always good um, to, to, to be able to play in as many World Cups as you can. It gives you as much experience as you can. Um, and I mean, my under-17 experience was probably one of the best football experiences I've had. Um, that was a special group um, that I was with. Um, and I hope that this group um, is as special as that one. Suarte and Sioposeno will have a different approach this time around. The ambition will be greater. In 2010, they were merely excited about playing at the biggest stage. They didn't have targets set for themselves and were knocked out in the group stage. No South African national football team has gone past the group stages at the World Cup. Banyana Banyana aimed to make history in France by qualifying for the knockout stage. When we went, we were kids. Um, we didn't... I think we realized how big it was, but I mean, you can never really understand the scope of uh, an event like that at that age. Um, you're there to have to have fun, to play your game, and, and that's what we, we went there doing. I mean, you just enjoy every moment. There's no stress. Um, there's no pressure on you. Um, your coach just wants you to go out and play, and I think it's different when you come to the senior level. Um, there's a little bit more pressure. Um, you are a little bit more older, more mature. Um, the responsibilities come with that um, and I think uh, definitely it's going to be very different. Although the experience at the Junior World Cup will be different to the seniors tournament, the two players have a better idea of what to expect. For football, the World Cup is where we want to be and we've achieved that and now we just got to work extra hard, you know, just not to make be numbers over there and, you know, to be a force to be reckoned with, like you said. But, um, yeah, we're just going to do what we have to do. Banyana Banyana will start preparations for the World Cup next month when they face Sweden and the Netherlands in Cape Town. Levan Tube, SABC News.